Scholars and commentators talk about secularization. It's a word that's probably seen great change in its meaning over time. But if we say no, it might, what they're talking about might be better talked about uh, post Christianization, especially in Western Europe and certainly here in Australia. America, though, still does seem different. Uh, it does seem more religious, if I can put it that way, by comparison. Do you see it that way? Is America different? And if so, why? Yeah, I think that the United States does have some special things, features in its history and culture that uh, have created a maybe a deviation from the broader pattern of Western civilization. If by secularization we mean things like rates of church attendance, what uh, people tell uh, pollsters when they call up and say, you know, do you believe in God? Do you pray? And this sort of thing. And also, I think when people are describing when they say secularization is the influence of traditional institutions of organized religion on the public square, on matters of, of public morality. So in, in all of those ways, I think there are pretty significant differences. Uh, Americans still attend church at, at higher rates. Uh, more of them claim some sort of religious affiliation. And I think uh, there are a few historical factors that contribute to that difference. So one is the more competitive, what you could call marketplace of religion created by the First Amendment to our Constitution, uh, that while not creating a total free-for-all, I mean, certainly uh, those religious groups that had power in the late 18th century, you know, continued to have some privileges compared to many other countries where uh, one uh, church has more of a kind of a firm well-funded establishment, more cultural power, uh, the American scene, you know, really encouraged a kind of religious entrepreneurship, which uh, has led to a, a kind of lasting vibrance. I'd also point to uh, the range of immigrants who the Europe who settled this country after first European contact. So uh, really a, a pretty passionate and, and diverse range of religious expression in those early generations of immigrants. I think too, the role of religion in American racial conflicts is, is something that has contributed to a kind of fusing of, of uh, really a particular understanding of religion and ethnicity and culture for some subcultures in the United States at some points in time that has contributed to kind of the, the lasting vibrance. But I will tell you that in more recent decades, it has looked like the statistics are starting to carry America into what I could call the sort of Western post-Christian fold. I think it will take a while for uh, the demographic figures, the you know rates of church attendance and things like this that we see in America to catch up with, say, Western Europe, uh, Canada. Um, how, and it, that may be uh, the, the, the big monkey wrench that may come is uh, changes in immigration. I mean, I think there is um, there is a scenario in which immigrants from other parts of the world, particularly the global south, do really alter the religious future of this country.